Hello. Uh, we're back. I'm back. Um, and this video is going to be a little bit more of a raw edit where I'm going to try to talk most of the way and give you not a persona that I'm trying to emulate, but uh, the actual person, me. Yeah, so I'm going to try to improve my speech uh, and not say um too much, which I just did, but we're going to try to get to this video. Hopefully there are going to be many more of these and to take the edge off. I'm going to drink uh, out of my Zozobra cup and Deidre is here too, so she gets a cup too. Pro tip, if you're in Santa Fe, go to Maria's and order the Zozo Burrito. Is it? No. Zozo Zozorita? Zozorita? Zozo Burrito, if they're still doing it. Oh. But yeah, you get a free glass if they're still doing it. I know, right? You get a margarita and the glass. And it costs the same as the other ones, so why not, right? But we're going to be uh, drinking this bad boy here uh, from Santa Fe Brewing Company. What is it? It's uh, called Social Hour. Hazy wit style brew with tropical fruit, whatever that means. Ale brewed with spice. Spices and fruit, 7% by volume, 12 ounces. But I'm not gonna drink it all, cause you're just gonna drink half. We're gonna go have these then. Oh God, it's very foamy. You gotta tilt the, yeah, I spill it here. Didn't really think, yeah, Gosh. I wasn't thinking. Like that. She's a professional uh, pourer. My dad's an alcoholic. No, you get more. I don't want. Is that, it just gonna that's pop? It's just the foam. It's gonna pop, right? Yeah. I don't know. That's half. I think I have more. But what is that stuff? It looks like kombucha. No, it's just. Doesn't it? Maybe like it's that kombucha fruity. Has that stuff in it? Oh yeah, yours is different. Yeah, mine is. Maybe we're supposed to shake this. Like... I don't think you're supposed to shake beer. Oh, it's just. I poured it. Not bad. It's really light. Yeah, that's why it's not bad. I like that. But, uh, yeah. It has like an be... apple cider type of. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Like when it goes on your tongue, it's like the same um, strength as an apple cider. Um, Nah, nah, this is good. I could drink this. I mean, not a... This is a Victor drink. It's like a hard cider type of on the tongue, that amount of bubbles. It's like not too much. I'm gonna disagree with what you're saying and say this is a... I like this. Yeah, this is a cool place to go. There's one uh, big brewery that you can... I think they have a courtyard. We haven't been there yet, but they have food trucks every, every Saturday, I think, or something like that. But anyway, the this video probably will be titled something like uh, Santa Fe vs Olympia or something like that because I got a comment from Marlon 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 what do you think that said? Mm, Marlon? Marlon? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully uh, we kind of said it correctly that one of these times that we pronounced it but he asked if I could uh, give him my opinion and this is definitely my opinion probably not true but you know that's what an opinion is yeah but it's unique to you oh yeah disclaimer all these videos are just gonna be uh me Opinions. and i'm gonna say certain things and you might not like it so let me know what what i should change and whatnot but he suggested that i uh Talk about the rent, real estate, gentrification, local s social scene, ethnic relations, Santa Fe vibes, and the overview of the average Santa Fean and their temperament. Um, so, Oops. <laughs> so. He said temper. Temper tantrum. No. Um, we're going to, I guess, talk about the rent and real estate. I look, I, I looked this up briefly before. Uh, filming this video and the uh, rent compared Santa Fe compared to Olympia are kind of kind of the same the biggest difference I think is what if you're buying a house 
or even I guess renting, like the uh, not the five, the make. So like in Santa Fe specifically, we they use Adobe a lot um, on the outsides. It's, it's not really Adobe. It's just it makes it look like Adobe, but real Adobe are bricks. Well, there you go. They they use wood most of the time as the frame, and uh, regular what do you call it? Concrete foundation and they just put wood and then they cover it with this thing called uh, it's like a plaster type of consistency and it's it's called stucco oh so it's right. not actually it's stucco adobe. yes that's right real it's adobe. supposed to look like adobe real that's right stucco that's real correct. real adobe you have to it's like higher maintenance it's, it keeps the house cooler and it keeps it you guys warmer. use real adobe in my village yeah, uh, most the of the pueblos yeah along the uh, Rio Grande, the 19 Pueblos, most of them used Adobe because obviously you get your, you don't go to a store, hardware store like Home Depot or Yeah, they Lowe's. actually, you just they make actually it have from a, the land and it's more sustainable. Not class. that they were thinking about that, it's just like you use what's around you. Of course. So, yeah, That's it's kind of weird. Community college. How everything is. How to build with stucco or adobe <laughs> i just think it's weird how everything here is it has to be brown but it makes sense because then it would take away from the it would i don't know looking at it from afar everything would look like it's dots very rare to find uh, like what you would find in even hawaii or olympia like the standard like picket fence with the pitch roof all the all, most of the Buildings here are flat roofed um, with the stucco, and like you said, the wood framing. They have like big. Usually, they have big pieces of wood going throughout, and you can they're visible. They're not like hidden away. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's novel, but I don't know if that's it's like a beam. Cool, but it's it's just a beam. That yeah, you it's it's common. It holds up. Very novel. Um, a lot of the apartments here are kind of compact, like in the city. Like you can bike to downtown and so that's pretty cool whereas Olympia it's in my opinion again it's kind of spread out like uh, you don't need a car but I think it'd be better in Olympia it's kind of more spread out and that may have to do with the water the Puget Sound being right there and all the other different water fixtures they have going on around Olympia so moving on I think that's covered gentrification I'm not too sure I think both are again are pretty the same a lot of development you can see a lot of apartments popping up still here and a bit in Olympia too so I'm, I'm not really too sure about that I'm not too familiar I can't really give a true that's opinion a, that's a huge subject here I think in the world in general it's kind of sad there's a lot of indigenous cultures too just barely being recognized I think it's because of social media it's become more apparent right so here's an opinion probably not a popular one but compared to Hawaii when you talk about gentrification, people can't even afford like a studio to live in to rent in, compared to like here in Olympia. Um, but it is like things are getting more expensive because more people are coming here because more. It's just you know the nature of the beast when it comes to economic growth and stuff like that and making the center, city better. Want to live here, therefore, that gets more expensive because there's more people and more supply. More demand equals more, you know, higher cost because they can. Um, I don't really have an opinion on it, but that's just what I've observed. I don't know. But don't you think, like, just because you were in Olympia and, like, the natives there aren't as, what is the word, not prevalent, but they're not everywhere, basically. So it's not, you know, not the main important because everyone has money, everyone's doing the the whole rat race, nine to five job thing that native cultures or na people who are indigenous to this land, like a lot of Native American tribes, especially in the U.S., you know, the history that happened, blah, blah, blah. Um, right, I see I, what you're saying. I just, cause... we had different outlook on life. It wasn't about money, it was, it was we barter, you know what I mean? Just trading, that's like a different type of currency that's giving something in exchange and so I think that mindset might still be in us because a lot of my people they, they find culture to be way more important than being rich and so 
Yeah. Of course, when they get out of the reservations and they come onto you know the city life, those people have been doing it all their life because they got trained as children. Whereas in our people, we we have you know respect for the land. Um, everything has um, like everything like the trees, the mountains. They all have a spirit. You know stuff like that. So it's definitely a different way of thinking. It's a little bit more spiritual, and so I think you can have respect. I think that's for the why land they're getting pushed out pressure. because it's two different types of living that we have to balance. You know what I mean? We have to stick to our things that we find true to ourselves, and then live on this on this uh, rat race side of so the local social scene, the ethnic relations, and Santa Fe vibe. I think all coincide with one another. So yeah, the local social scene. Uh, COVID was. It kind of like messed it up. I think, yeah, Santa Fe actually has a pretty good social scene. She might not think so, but there is a lot of like small little bars, a lot of uh, people, musicians. There's a lot of music musicians, a lot of art stuff. Like it's and and so there's a downtown called the Plaza. There's a little park, and they like every every week once a, at least once a week minimum. You'll have people playing there, and it's free. You can go there and like hang out. The trees are all lit up still, and there's another place called the Rail Yard, which is more the hipster place, I think. Um, they have one there too. Usually, like they put a stage there, a mini stage next to the open railroad, and they have like a, a whole event that you can just go to for free. And there's bars around there, and you have Meow Wolf, which puts on events too. And that's like a cool spot, an RC like live. I don't know what you would call that, an exhibit, live, not a live exhibit, but art, I don't know. Art scene. Yeah, there's a big art Basically scene. Basically an art for scene. Sure. And then um, Indian Market kind of just attracts tourists yeah. every year and they're like, I moved, I came here for Indian Market when I was 12 and they're like 75 now. Okay, I might be exaggerating. Okay, they're like 55 though. I came here when I was little and I used to go to Indian Market and then they're like, someday I knew I wanted to return and that's why they're here again. And where they're like, I, I saw San Fit so small, so I am I moved from this big city to here because it was too, too much competition elsewhere, so they came here. And I think that's why it's so hipster, because uh, all those artsy fartsy people come here and build these cool businesses. I do think that businesses, which there's like. a lot of, like the native, again, this goes to the ethnic relations, like, so there's 19 Pueblos, right? Just in Santa Fe alone. And then you have the Navajo, half the Navajo Nation or whatever. That doesn't mm -hmm. count into the Pueblos, I don't think, right? Most of Arizona, they're like... It's it's in New Mexico a little bit. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, but, but because of the history, they got pushed out here. A lot of the Most native of them are Arizona. people do art. Like you have jewelry. Well, that's another big thing, jewelry. Um, they do, like, pottery. They do actual, like, art, art stuff. And like she was saying, Indian Market, which we just went to last weekend, they they hold that every year, and that's a big thing. A lot of tourists. They have a Spanish market, but it wasn't my really cup of tea. We'll talk about that in another Stay video. Stay tuned. I don't know. You just go to the downtown where all the shops are usually. The you can see all of these Native American art stuff. The the the, the pots, the bowls, the basketball weaving bowls, the the like the. the just the Pendleton stuff, the Native American looking blankets and clothes and stuff, or even the Spanish stuff, there's a lot of that too. And so, I think Santa Fe's population in New Mexico is, there's a lot of Hispanic Mexican people here. Influence. And yeah, you can definitely see the influence on the, the buildings, the, the, the culture, because there's so, there, so many. The religion. Um, it's kind of mixed Catholic, with Native Catholic, American too Catholic sometimes. Because of the history, yeah, the Spanish kind of messed invasion. up. Uh, watch the uh, this other video I did about Pecos, a little bit of history there. Um, but, I mean, yeah, like she was saying earlier, that people will come here and visit, and it, it is totally different from what you would see in Olympia. Because Olympia is kind of like plain, not plain, but you wouldn't see a lot of the, the native things, like the, it kind of looks Alaskan type. They do have that line work. That thing over there, like that. This is Alaska. Yeah, but the, the a lot of the Washington tribes have that kind of artwork there. But I didn't really see that out and about as like you would see it in Santa Fe. Um, definitely is a like a in your face like kind of thing. And before I met Deidre, I have never never ever met a Native American before. I I didn't think she was Native American either. But uh, yeah, I, mm. yeah. 
So. I'm gonna talk about my ethnicity real quick. What? What I am, because they're American. probably gonna think I'm Filipino again. Oh, I just said you're not. You're Native American. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're Native American. But yeah, and I went to like. Blood clots on four foot. Yeah, she's full Native American apparently. Um, oh, which is weird because I don't look Native American. I think you do. Just uh, it's a different type. Like the Plains Indians are like the. The stereotypical Native American you would see, like smoke signals and all that stuff. <laughs> ah, I'm just fucking with you. The Pueblo Indians or Native Americans, they, to me, they look kind of like similar to the Mexicans. Like, it's hard for me to tell sometimes, but uh, Deidre says it's easy for her because she can tell by the skin tone or something. There's something with the skin tone. It's different. The under flesh colors. Yeah, I, I can't. It's I can't olive tell. and red. I cannot tell. But versus less yellow. But so all in all, Santa Fe has a really. So there's like the hipster part. There's the there's the like rich part of Santa Fe, like like downtown where you have like thousands of dollar art pieces and stuff like that, and it's very artsy and musical and yeah. So there's a, lot, a big retirement population, but there's also a lot of transplants because of Los Alamos. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people at our gym are really not from Santa Fe because they all work at Los Alamos. And Los Alamos is one of the uh, na national laboratories, and they're pretty, uh, pr apparently pretty well known. I did not know about them, but yeah, they're pretty high up there in prestige. Um, they're always hiring. <laughs> Apparently, like uh, where Los Alamos is, well, that's the labs, the Los Alamos labs, uh, has, what, the most PhDs in the city, and it's a small city, but I think the world, or the nation, at least the nation, I know that for sure, but it might be the world, because there's so much, uh, talent and smart people going there, but, yeah, Olympia, artsy, I think I would label it as artsy, and then if you go outside of downtown, you have a lot of uh, Spanish, uh, Hispanic influence. But then you go outside of Olympia, uh, not Olympia, Santa Fe, to like the reservations, they have cool, um, cool events sometimes you can go to. Right now they're all closed, but I got to go to see a couple of things. When you go towards the mountains, you start to find the really hippie people, like people who are, you know, Never mind, sorry. <laughs> it's true, Madrid is like a hippie town. Oh, but that's not towards the mountain. Well, it I is towards, that's the towards the mountain range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking oh, about. That's a whole different story. That's another video, or too. You're really rich. That's another video. Really so nice that's house. just wait, that, wait for that. But Santa Fe itself, I think, yeah, you have the, the Hispanic population and like some Native Americans, and then you have like up on the mountain, like rich, retired, like crazy rich people million dollar houses up there yeah I don't know. That's, that's all I have to say about Santa Fe and their vibe what I do have to say about the last thing which is the Santa Fe temperament a lot of the Native Americans are really friendly and cool um, they like to joke and laugh really loud and if, if they joke with you they like you yeah, just saying. really cool um, really friendly um, so I would suggest making trying to make friends with one of the Native Americans so you can go to those cool things I was talking about like uh, <laughs> those feast days and you can see all these dancing and stuff because they don't advertise it that that heavily because it's, it's not it's not a show but it's a tradition it's, that we it's just open do. though so yeah, but we include people it's yeah, inclusive but it's it's not nobody kind of knows about it unless you're like in the the know no picture taking yeah there's, there's certain things because it's an oral tradition um that just takes away the whole thing if you if you draw things that you see should be passed on orally. That's how they. Talk or really. Or oh, really. Anyhow, I think that uh, covers the basics. In my opinion, I don't think I could choose one over the other. Olympia definitely has its pros, like oh, just the water and the greenery and. Mm -hmm. um, That'd be nice. It's like just cool. Santa Fe. Santa Fe also has cool things like you have ski Santa Fe like 30 minutes up the mountain if, if it wasn't such a windy road and a straight shot I think it'd be 10 minutes to get there but it's really close so that's really cool if you want to do ski sports um, lots of cool
Cool hikes. Yeah. Um, Lakes. Some waterfalls. There, yeah, there's a couple of waterfalls, but... But it's also the smallest... I wouldn't say there are any lakes, though. Smallest body of water. So. Yeah, my latest video, I said that I think New Mexico has the least amount of water mass. Um, I think Vermont, or one of those small states has less, but that's just because they're a smaller state. But because New Mexico is like the fifth largest state in America, that's a lot of... Some, like just land you guys have um but yeah uh so camera died uh i didn't actually cut it but let me know what you think if i needed to cover anything else down in the comments uh hopefully we'll see you again and yeah check out my other video and thanks for watching see ya uh.